Didn't see that. Diesel Jacob here. And, um, I don't really have a script. I do not have a script for this video at all. So, it's going to be a lot of rambling. But, this video is in, this is in, this is a celebration, or in celebration of Kamarder's 50th anniversary, which occurred technically today in Japan, April 3rd, but it is currently April 2nd in the U.S., and most other parts of the world, I believe. So this will go up tomorrow, which will be April 3rd for me, I believe. But anyways, um, Kamara is a very important part of my life, I would say. I mean, insert clip of me showing all my stuff here, but I do really love Kamara a lot, and it means a lot to me. Um, so I thought I'd go over, um... I thought I'd go over how I started with the franchise, um, what I've seen, what I like, what I don't like, and what I hope it goes to the future in. That didn't make sense. What I hope, I don't know. But um, to start, I I suppose this will mean more how I got into Toku in general, but um, I started with Kamen Rider on, I believe, Wizard. Yeah, first I started with Wizard as my first show, but I'd seen clips of Rider before, such as Decade, and I believe some of, maybe some clips of Double, Double, Double. But Wizard was the first show I watched and I really fell in love with. And uh, during Wizard, you know, I would try to keep up. This was when, this was back when Kamen Rider was all on YouTube, and um, all, I would hope a lot of people remember this, but some people might, most people probably won't, but there was a channel, it had a bunch of different numbers in the name, and like it was a whole series of channels and they each had a different profile picture of like a number so like one channel would be number one have the profile picture of number one and had like all of wizard and gaim up while um the other channels would have like fies hibiki and deno and all older shows but they would be complete and fully sub and they were all on youtube so it was pretty easy just to get into comrade and watch the episodes from there and then this was 2013 2012 so yeah, my first season was Wizard, and I, I as I said, I loved it. And uh, I believe I got into Wizard around maybe the middle of the show. Uh, maybe when Gaim was announced? I'm, I don't remember, but... No, it was definitely before Gaim got announced, because I remember it was like a big deal when like the 15 Rider like, two-part finale came out and he showed up at the end. But yeah, I, I did start with Wizard, that's the point I'm getting at, and I really fell in love with Wizard. But during my time watching Wizard, I went back, I watched Double, Forze, um, Decade. Those were the three I do believe I watched during my time of Wizard. And then I watched Gaim, and for a while, for a while I did not like Gaim at all because of just stuff relating to it. But um, yeah, I didn't like Gaim at all for... Well, I liked Gaim while it was airing, but afterwards I was kind of like, I don't like Gaim because it's very overhyped. But nowadays, I'm very much more lax on my opinion of Gaim, where it's just like, yeah, it was alright. And then, during Gaim, I believe I watched, well, on the side I watched Kabuto, Deno, and I think I started Ryukin 5, but I never finished either. But, after Gaim was my favorite season of Kamen Rider. At this moment, it's fluctuating. We'll get there. But Comrade Drive, which, as many of you who know me personally, I very much love Drive, and it was the season that made me really be like, I love Common Rider. Well, not kind, kind. You'll see. But I'll get to that. But um, yeah, I I love Drive. Drive is one of my favorite shows, and I believe it's very not underrated. A good amount of people like it, but I believe a lot of people. Very much are like, eh, it's only good in the second half when the first half is still really good. But it has my favorite Kamen Rider, Kamen Rider Mach, Shinji Mago. You know, you know how it is. But yeah, Drive, I, I love Drive a lot. And so, yeah, Drive, I don't know. It Drive's just a very fun show. And if I had, and if I had to recommend anything to a newcomer, it'd be Drive or Double. And uh, yeah, after Drive, what, what I, did I watch anything during Drive? I don't think so. I don't think I watched anything while Drive was airing. I think I just watched Drive. Did I watch anything else? I've se I've started a lot of shows during like other seasons, but I never got around to finishing them. Like 
I believe I, I started Agito, like, I've started Agito multiple times, and I've always ended up stopping around, like, episode 32. And I, I do love Agito a lot. Agi, this is, I guess I'll get to Agito now, but... Agito, I, st I still haven't finished it, but I love Agito a lot. Agito has very much... Good kit very much has. It's unscripted, so this is why I'm rambling. But, and my grammar isn't good, but it's normally not good anyways, right? But Agito's great, I love Agito a lot. And then, after Drive was Ghost, and I will say I did not like Ghost for a while. It was kind of, I think I, a lot of the shows I like while they're airing, and then my opinion sort of changes afterwards, which I think is normal for most people, but I could be wrong. But I didn't like, I did not like Ghost afterwards, but I thought Ghost was kind of okay while it was airing. Um, there's definitely good moments of Ghost, but it's also kind of like, whatever. Um, I don't have too much to say on Ghost, but the season afterwards, Comrade or Exade, I feel as if was the season that made me realize I do love this franchise a lot. Because Exade was kind of like the perfect storm in a way. Because it had video games, and I'm, I, I, a lot of, I feel like, you know, I play video games, like a lot of people do, but I love video games a lot. And so Exade was kind of like, yeah, a common Rider that's video game theme. And it's kind of like, I don't know, it just kind of fits with the video game theme. And this was also the season that I got a friend in the Common Rider, so I had somebody to, like, talk to it about it. And, you know, we, you know, we just, you know, we bought the toys and stuff. I even filmed some dumb X8 skits that I'll probably never release because they're kind of cringy, but, you know. X8's kind of like, X8 was, like, the first season that I bought stuff from that wasn't Drive because, you know, the Mock Drive was the first Common thing, Common Rider thing I ever bought. And so... The fact that I bought the X8 stuff, I don't know, meant a lot to me. And, uh, yeah, X8 was very good. I know a lot of people don't like it nowadays, but I feel like while it was airing, a lot of people did like it. And I'm still one of those people. I would rate X8 in my top 10. And, did I watch anything else during X8? I, th I, I started Hibiki. No, I didn't start Hibiki until the next season, I believe. But, no, X8 was just X8. Actually, it was kind of just, like, the season that made me, like, yeah, Comrade is for me. And then, of course, we get to the big one. Not the big one. Not the big one yet. The big one's after this one. Comrade or Build. Now, a lot of people know that I don't like Build. And that's true. I don't really like it, I believe. Let me let me be positive first. I loved Build. I loved Build while it was airing. It, it's very much, you know, it's a good show. It is a good show to watch. I think, however, it very much drops the ball in the second to later half of the show. And honestly, I think it's one of the most overhyped seasons of Tokusatsu ever. Yeah, it's good, but it's like, it's not the pinnacle of Kamen Rider by any means. It's really not, and I don't agree with anyone who says that. I also just think it's kind of like, it's it feels like, it just kind of feels like a lot of people drag other shows when they hype up build. With, like the next season we're gonna talk about or I'm gonna talk about you can tell this is unscripted because I really don't know what to say but you know I love build enough to buy you know it's the toys from it this is the only one I could grab because a lot of them are you know it's all set up but I love I love Cross, I love Grease I love Rogue Sento can go somewhere else I guess but I love I, I, I like build I wouldn't it might be in my top 10 it might be number 10 but I don't like how the fandom treats it, if that may- I think that makes sense. I know- I suppose the thing would be don't let other people's opinions of a show affect mine, but it kind of does in this fandom in a way. This is more on the fandom topic, but I don't know. I feel like the fandom very much is like a hive mind in a way. And the hive mind affected the next season, which I very much fell in love with, that being the 20th anniversary of Heisei Kamen Rider and the last season of Heisei Kamen Rider Geo. And now, as a lot of people do know, I love Kamen Rider Geo very much. I do, this is where, this is the season I was talking about during Drive. I don't know how long this video is. It's probably like five minutes at most. But, Geo is just, it's like a season that was made for me. And one of my favorite movies ever is Back to the Future. And I, that movie made me love, fall in love with the concept of time travel. I love anything to do with time. I think it's just such a cool concept to go back in time and go forwards in time and see all these different points in history. 
And I also love anniversary season. I love the idea of, oh, let's see all these past characters and what they've been up to and let's use their powers. So, you know, you think I'd like Gokaiju, but I don't really care for Gokaiju. But I, I love deck I love Decade. Decade was is one of my favorite seasons. And so, with Geo, I got time travel and anniversary put together, and it was exactly what I wanted. And I, I don't know, I, I fell in love. Like, I love, I love these, I love the, I can't even do it right, but I love these. I love the ride watches. I, I don't think, I don't have most of them, but I love the characters. I love the music. I love the music. It's great. I love the suits. And I, it's just, it's, to me, it's so good. So good, so no. <laughs> but I, I thoroughly enjoyed it a lot. And it made me, it made me sad when it was over. And I'm still kind of sad about it to this day because it's like, I miss it a lot. And I feel like the world was a happier place when Gio was airing, if that makes any sense. By the world, I mean the Tokusatsu fandom because it's very negative now. But Geo is just, Geo might be my favorite season. I think it is my favorite season, but I, it's just, it's something else, man. And I, and that's so getting to my point about build, a lot of people drag Geo when they talk about build and it's just like, why do you do that? I'm playing with this stupid thing. I'll move it. But I, I don't know. Why would you drag a show just to hype up another show? Like. I know I've definitely said some things about Build I regret now. I know I've told people I hate Build and that they're stupid for liking it. But I've grown, I've changed as a person, and I I like I pretty much like every season. Like I think I don't know if I made that point clear, but I I've eventually have come to realize I like every season at different levels and I think mo most of them are good. And my main sort of motto is now everything is good to somebody. So that's why I don't really call seasons bad or anything bad. I'm like, I didn't like it. That doesn't mean it's bad. I think everyone should follow that. Certain people more than others. This is more just me like talking shit about people, but whatever. But yeah, Comrade Geo, I think it's very good. It's not perfect by any means. It is not perfect whatsoever. But it is it is a show I like and I wish other people would give it another chance. And so, with Geo, the Heisei era of Comrader came to an end. Oh, wait, I should talk about... No, wait, I watched it. Yeah, but what... we'll get to it. But the Heisei era came to an end with Geo, and then they started the Reiwa era in 2019 with Comrader 0 1. one. And uh, this is where my thing of not calling a season bad comes in, because I have called Zero One one bad, and I kind of do think it's bad in parts. I think the first, the, I, overall, I'm like kind of like eh on Zero One. I don't really like it, but it's not terrible. Well, some parts are terrible, but I don't want to turn this into like a I hate Zero One thing, but it's very, the first 12, 16 episodes up until probably the first debut of Bowser, it is a solid show all the way through. The climax of the Metsubo Jinrei arc with Shining Assault Hopper and Fighting Jin, that's just, you could just have the show be that and we'd be all set. We wouldn't need anything else, really. But instead, we get the competition arc and that drags for like weeks and weeks on end. And then we get something good with the the start of the Hidden Manufacturing arc, and that's pretty decent, I remember. And Rampage Gatling, which is one of the best form debuts in Rider, I would say. And then it kind of all goes downhill. And then I would maybe because of COVID in a way, because it did get a lot of episodes messed up by the the COVID nineteen pandemic. But I also just thought it wasn't going really anywhere to begin with. So I would say I didn't like Zero One. The ending is very dumb and lame. And uh, yeah, that's all I really gotta say with Zero One. I didn't really buy much of the toys. But anywho. Now we get to the... No, we don't. I, I what One season I did watch during Comrade Zero One was the first Heisei season, Comrade Kuga. And Kuga is a good show. It's not just a good Comrade show. It is a good show in general. It is a solid show, solid show, all the way through. The characters are great. 
Godai might be the best main rider ever, because he's just the best ever in anything. And a lot of people say it's slow, but I didn't really feel that. But maybe that's because I binged it, and you shouldn't binge Toko, I've been told. But I don't really care. I like just watching shit. But, you know, I watched Kuga during that because, thanks to Shout Factory, it was subbed completely in English and put up for free on multiple sites, I believe. So, yeah. Kuga's very good. I implore you to give it a chance. Because if you do watch it, there might be a chance we get future seasons shown in the States. Also, during this time, we got the original Kamari season, just Kamen Rider, subbed in English as well. And I did not watch that because I have no interest in watching Showa seasons. Showa seasons. That's not to say I'm, I, I don't, well, no, I don't want to watch show at all. I really don't have any interest. But it's not, it's not like I'm saying show is bad. Because I know there's a few people in particular who are like, Showa is great. I hate Heisei. And it's kind of like, you were born in Heisei, except it, I guess. I don't know. But, yeah, that brings us to the current season, Commodore Saber, which, it's all right. It's not, I get, I mean, it's kind of my cup of tea, it's Kamen Rider, but it hasn't, it's, gra it's grabbed me recently, but it, 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 it sort of felt like, in the first few episodes, I was kind of like, I guess I'm watching this. I think I did experience a toku burnout in a way, because it just wasn't like for me, not, not like for me, I suppose not all of them, everything's not for me in a way, because it's a children's show for Japanese children, and I'm an American teenager watching it, but you get my point, um, I like aspects of, I like the suits, I like the books, the books are kind of neat, but Overall, I would say my feelings on Saber, are, as I said before, it's all right. It's not, you know, I don't think it's bad, but it certainly, it took its time to get going, but I feel like right now the arc they're on is very good. And I don't know, I like swords. Swords are cool. But, yeah, that's kind of my history, I guess. I kind of, I don't know how fast I went through this. I don't have like the... The camera's towards me with the out-facing camera, so I don't know how long this is. But I guess... I don't know. My overall thoughts on Comrade is that it's been very impactful to me. I think it's... I don't know. It's kind of a big... It's a big part of my life, I guess I would say, as I stare at my Comrade collection. But... I... Right now, I'm kind of more into Sentai, if anything. But I still love Comrade a lot. And it means a lot to me. I think it's very much, you know, it's kind of like their whole thing is you got to protect humanity, just not, you know, do things for justice, which I think is a very apt motto, I guess. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. I really don't. This is very much a ramble. I just like Common Rider, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know, I hope it continues for another 50 years, but I probably won't be alive to see it in 50... Actually, no, I probably will be alive to see it in another 50 years if I think about it, so that's going to be kind of crazy. Wow, I feel like 69. <laughs> yeah, I would be, but I think that's about it. Um, where would I want to see it go in the future? Um, oh, sorry, my thought process. Um, where would I want to see it in the future? Um... I don't know, I'd like to see a dinosaur rider, you know, that'd be neat, um, a ninja rider, maybe next year, shinobi, <laughs> um, I would say I wanted, like, a demon common rider, but that's kind of like my own OC thing, so, I would talk about my OCs, but that's kind of cringy to talk about in a YouTube video, I'll just say I have common rider OCs, and I'll leave it that, leave it at that, um, you know what, I write, I write, they're not, well, I guess they're technically, they're kind of fancy but they're like common stories about my OC so it's not really fan fiction but it kind of is but that's mumbling um I don't know I'd like to see them I'd like to see them go back to a smaller amount of riders like four maybe five ideally I'd like three or four but I mean f I feel like right now 12 is kind of pushing it especially I mean Ryuki did like Ryuki did 13, but they all weren't in the show, and a lot of them died, so, 
you know, I haven't seen Ryuki, but I know they die and that's kind of a thing. Um, I don't know. I'd like a lesser amount of riders, I think. Having a female secondary rider would be cool. I'd like them to ride the bike more, if anything. It doesn't have to be like... I don't know. Ghost did this thing. I, everyone knows this who's watching this video, but Ghost did this thing where it was like... He rode a motorcycle. Nor he rode a normal motorcycle when he was untransformed, but when he would transform, it would turn into the actual motorcycle. So I wish they'd do more stuff like that. That'd be kind of neat. Because it'd be like, he can still ride the motor. He's still riding the motorcycle. He's just not riding it transformed, which I think would be a perfect compromise. But, um, I got really nothing. I don't, I, once again, I don't know how long this video is, and I really repeat myself, I've noticed. So, yeah. I also say, uh, a lot. So, and that bugs me. See, I just did it. Yeah. I'm really trying to stop myself from saying, uh, now. So it's difficult. I also haven't drank anything in a while. So. I also say so, yeah, a lot. I say a lot of things a lot. I very much have a repeating vocabulary. Uh-huh. I <laughs> See, I tried to... Now this is just me talking to myself like a maniac. But I suppose the point is... I love Kamen Rider. A lot. And it's important to me and I hope... I'm saying what I said again already. Damn it. Yeah. Common Rider. Cool. Henshin. Whatever, dude. I don't know how to end this video properly. I don't know. And I stole my stupid this thing I do from Hibiki. <laughs> this is fucking dumb, man. I don't know. I think I'll, I'll probably post this. Be, it'll be funny, I guess. I'll make the thumbnail really appealing to look at so people will click on it. Um, let me know in the comments below if you want me to talk about Common Rider again in some way, because I don't think I've done a Common Rider video on this channel ever. I've done like music edits, but that's about it. And, those are, and my most viewed video is the Common and Brain trailer reaction, which is very funny to me. Um, yeah. I, I suppose, I don't, actually, no, I was gonna say I could tell you my top 10 of Common Rider, but I can't think of my top 10 right now. So, yeah, maybe if, in editing, I'll put my top 10 here, but other than that, I got nothing for you. So, yeah, I guess. See, I told myself I wouldn't do it, but I did anything. I'm, I'm a terrible YouTuber, but, yeah. Let me know in the comments below if you would like me to talk about Common Rider again in the future. Whether that be a certain show, a certain episode, something. Nobody comments anything I ask on the video, so we'll see what happens. But remember, I'm Digital Jacob, and I like Common Rider Geo much more than anyone else in the world. And also, thanks, Common Rider. Just thanks.